Hello architecture students. Today's video is going to be uh, the first video and I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to make um, but I'm going to kind of break it down into sections and this video or this series of videos is going to show you how to design the roof and it is a very simple design and of course once you get around to designing um, your your own floor plan and stuff like that in the future you might want to really consider the roof because because uh, if you do like a really complicated floor plan then the roof plan is going to really be complicated so keep that in mind uh, the roof is probably one of the more complicated pieces um, of the of the structure even though there's not a lot to it necessarily but it's just getting everything all the angles in things like that correct on your roof plan okay so anyway here we go with the roof plan all right um, and we're going to use this drawing here you can go to the roof plan assignment in Schoology and you'll see uh, inside that assignment is a fresh file this one right here is called roof plan um, and it's the same drawing we've been working with it's just a fresh file okay so let's do this let's uh first off we need to turn off some layers okay and then this is going to help you understand why we use layers um in these anyway okay why it's very important to use layers and make layers for everything you do okay so we're going to turn off some layers to make our roof i'm going to turn off pull this down just like this i'm definitely going to turn off dimensions and you know i can i don't have to turn off doors right now i can leave doors open uh or on if i want to but i mainly i need the exterior walls that's what i need right now is the exterior walls gotta have those exterior walls so i've got enough turned off that i can work with it at the moment okay and we want to go to layer properties and create a new layer by clicking right here all right, you're going to click on that and you're going to create a layer called roof. Okay, so just click on that. It'll allow, it'll create a new layer and allow you to rename it to roof and make it whatever color you want to. It doesn't matter. You want to be able to see it. So I would definitely choose a color that you're going to easily be able to see on the screen. Okay, you can see mine is white. Okay, now to start the roof, again, we've got our our general floor plan here we've hidden some things so we can uh, you know work around it a lot better and i'm going to go to the polyline we want to do a polyline for the roof click on that i'm going to come to the very corner right there and actually oops sorry about that i don't know if y'all heard that or not um, dropped uh, part of the microphone okay but i'm on the wrong layer I need to go to the roof layer to do this. And again, I'm using a polyline, not a regular line, but a polyline. Click right there on the corner and just draw. You're just tracing is all you're doing. You're tracing all the way around these red lines, the exterior red lines. And you're snapping on each corner, making sure you get this drawing perfect to the uh, footprint that's underneath. So just keep drawing around, matching each and every corner. And of course, you could fast forward if you understand what to do right here. So you don't have to watch me finish drawing it. But now that I'm com I've completed drawing that with a polyline, I'm going to go up here to the, the uh, layer drop down again. And I am going to turn off exterior walls, interior walls, if there is any furniture on the drawing, windows. Turn all that off to where you're left with nothing but your roof. First thing we're going to do is offset it. Okay. Why am I offsetting it? Well, I got to offset it for the eaves. Okay. The, the roof overhangs the wall of the house. I'm going to show you that. Um, let's go here to, we're just going to look up Eve. Oops, that says Kiev. And I may not be looking for the right spelling of that. Maybe it's E-A-V-E, E-A-V-E. 
And let's just do this one right here. Okay, there we go. So it is EAVE -E images. All right, you see like in this little picture of the roof here, you got this overhang. All right, that overhang, and uh, here's actually a sideways view of how that overhangs. Now, when you get home, go and look at your own house and look that that one also overhangs, okay? It overhangs the walls of your, your house, okay? Just like this one does, okay? So that's what, why we have to do an offset for that roof footprint that we just drew. And the eave, of course, is made for several things. It's made to kind of protect the walls a little bit from getting, you know, from direct harsh weather, rain, hail, sleet, snow, whatever. Uh, it helps protect the walls, just a little bit of additional um, assistance. It also provides a little bit more shade as well. So your house is under more shade with a roof that overhangs a little bit more than it would be if it had no overhang at all. Um, so that's what we're, we're doing that for. Okay. All right. So back here, I'm going to offset this. Now, an eave on the house, I mean, they're anywhere from 12 to 24 inches. Sometimes they can be even more. Of course, you would have to go, go in and start adding columnar type support. Um, but here, we're not going to do that. We're not going to get complicated. We're going to keep things easy. Okay. So we're going to offset this. We're just going to do a 12 inch. So a 12 inch offset to make our eaves and offset it to the outside, of course. And then on the inside, just take the inside and delete it. You don't need the inside. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create what's called a hip roof. There are different roof styles and you're going to um, learn about some different roof styles over the coming uh, couple of weeks. And I'll show you a hip roof that we're going to, draw okay it's like this it's where the roof um, basically slopes on every side like here in these pictures you know some roofs will slope on sides and then of course they'll be gabled on other sides okay with the hip roof a full hip roof it's just going to hip all the way around and that's what we're going to draw and just stick with that hip roof for now and actually here's a little Thing that shows you all the different types of roofs here. This is pretty cool. Uh, here's the hip right here. Okay. Um, but, you know, of course, they do combine the different types of roofs. You know, hip and gable is a very common combination of roof. Okay. Um, but you'll get experience with these as we go along, uh, especially next year. You'll get to do some different roof types. And maybe this year. You never know. Okay. So we're doing a fully hipped roof. And what we have to draw in our drawing is we have to draw all these lines that represent what we call the uh, hip ridges and the main ridge, okay? This is your main ridge that goes across the top. This is your hip ridge that comes down the sides, okay? Um, this one, you could probably see it a little bit better, hip ridge right there, okay? So we're, we're going to be drawing ridges and... We're going to draw valleys. So a valley, let me find one. Here's one. So if we look at this hip roof on this house right here, you see how it slopes on every side. Uh, you see the hip ridges like this, and then you see the main ridge. This is a valley, okay? This is a valley that goes between two adjoining roof sections, and that's for the water to drain off the roof. All right, so let's get busy on this real quick here. All right. So first thing we're going to create is the main part of the roof. We're, we're, we're making a 45 degree hip roof, okay, which means every line on it is 45 degrees. It's the easiest one to work with uh, when it comes to hip roofs or any kind of roof, really. Um, but what we do is we look at our shape, and, and it's easy to do here, but you can see, you, you will see, however, how more complicated designs, it's going to be really tough to figure this out. But you want to look at it as if, you know, you're looking at one rectangle, okay? This rectangle over here, we're going to do separately, okay? So we're going to start with the largest rectangle of the roof right here. We're going to find the center of it right there uh, with that line. It's got a center point represented by a triangle. We click on it and we draw. We're just going to go ahead and draw this one all the way across. All right, so that is the, the 
uh, ridge. That's the main ridge. It goes across the very top. Now I'm going to draw the hip ridges. So the hip ridges are 45 degrees. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that part of the roof was very easy, very simple. I'm going to go to my trim tool and trim this part out because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to take this line and I'm going to go ahead and draw it back just a little bit. I don't know how far I want to draw it back yet, but I just wanted to do that so I can remember what it's for. Okay, um, and I might as well, while I'm here, go ahead and create this hip ridge. Okay, because this hip ridge is going to be one hip ridge by itself. Okay, and actually now, uh, well, I still don't know where I want this to go, so I'm going to kind of leave it right there. Well, no, I do know where it's going to go. Okay, let's do draw it back to here, just like so. All right, and just so, uh, this is really just so I can remember what's going on, I'm going to start to draw this other hip ridge, but I'm only going to draw a few inches of it, or maybe a foot of it or so. All right, now I'm going to work on this part of the roof here, this rectangle right here, the smaller rectangle. Okay, so I have to put a main ridge on it, so I have to find it right here. Draw me a main ridge, okay. I don't know how far it's going to be. I'm just randomly drawing it the length that you see right there. All right, and I'm going to draw the hip ridges right there, okay. Now I'm getting a better idea of where I'm going to cut this off at because this one is going to continue and it's going to cross that one right there at exactly 45 degrees. I'm not going to get my trim tool, trim that off. Okay. We only have, uh, actually, we need to trim this one off too. Okay, trim that too. I only have one valley to be concerned with, and that's this one right here because that is that is a valley. Okay, so it's probably starting to make a little bit of sense to you. Um, I have these bays. Now, bays sometimes can be very difficult to work with, but these bays are not. These are pretty simple. How do I uh, roof the bay? Uh, well, I'm going to start right here at this first bay corner, and I'm going to draw 45 degrees in this direction. I don't know how far it's going to be because what I'm doing is I'm creating a crossing point. I'm going to draw this one at 45 degrees. You can either draw it past or you can meet up with it. Okay, but you, you um, sometimes when you just try to meet up with it, sometimes the angle gets off or whatever, okay? But sometimes I'll just go ahead and draw it past it just to make sure I get the angle correct. Uh, do some trimming. So I'm going to trim that off and trim that off, okay? Then I'm going to get the line tool again, and I've got a couple more ridges right here that I fill in, okay? So there are, that is one bay window. This other bay window is the same way. So again, line tool, come in here at 45 degrees and just kind of draw it randomly uh, to a point and do this one same way, just cross it, make sure it's uh, actually that one snapped right to the, to the edge there. Trim tool, trim that off. Here, come right here to the very, or actually you can start down here, go up here and then come back down here. All right, so now as far as a roof plan, the drawing of this is, is complete. Uh, I'm going to skip over the next part. The next part shows uh, is where I identify the positions of roof vents and other what we call penetrations, which is where things like your vents from your plumbing, you have plumbing vents that actually stick up out of the roof. So look at your roof next time you're at home or if you're rolling through the neighborhood, just look at someone else's roof and see what kind of things they have sticking out of the roof, okay? Those have to be positioned on the roof plan, but we're not going to really concern ourselves with that right now. A lot of times, I don't really get to that until architecture too, but if we have time this year, um, here in the next couple of weeks, we can probably go ahead and get to that this year, okay? It just depends. Okay, so I've got the roof, and, and with the roof, just like we did uh, with the... Um, foundation, we have to have a section detail, which uh, shows a lot about the roof structure. So that's what the next video is going to be about. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one right here and uh, do the next video on the roof structure or on the roof section detail, sorry.